Hey. Welcome to this episode of Talk Through Clearances with me, Simon. Let's get straight into it. So we're looking at the layout here. Um, the problem with reds, this red, you have to be perfect to land on this red. Um, it's got quite a big space, but you do have to be perfect on it. The problem with yellows, I don't love where this yellow is. These two yellows, they could pose a problem, but they're not terrible. Uh, you could potentially play this ball and leave yourself a shot on this one to that corner. Now with reds again, another issue, this red obviously doesn't go in this corner, so I think we're pr that's probably making me want to go yellows here. So I think the exact order is going to be this ball first, obvious, start, obvious starting ball, come up and land here. Now from there, see I'm, I'm not a fan of rail shots, so I would much rather leave a double on this yellow. Um, so if I play this ball first to leave me here, then from there, let's take a look. <laughs> Don't really want to be leaving that there. Basically, this is all dictated by this ball and whether I decide to take a double or not. So that ball I know is going to be first. As long as I get position, this ball would ideally be second. Tell you what, I'm going to play those two balls first and then I'm going to make a decision on the last, fo last five balls after that on the black. That took a real bounce, way out of position. So not a good start. Um, it's I'm on this ball actually, uh, saying that. <laughs> I might have ended up in a better position than I would have if I'd played for the one in the middle, or actually landed on the one in the middle. I can get rid of this ball with the intention of kind of going into these two. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna be able to get both out, or even if I can, I might just be able to get this one out. I'm gonna try and play into that ball to to plant into that and play, break both of them away. Let's see how that goes, a bit of backspin on this. Okay, so I did hit both and I luckily did get both away. So now the clearance has become, I mean, relatively straightforward. So lack of position on that first shot has actually helped me out a little bit. So I think the finish, just have to look where the black's gonna go because it can't go in this corner, which means I can't really leave this ball till last because that naturally, if I leave the cue ball there, I've obviously got the shot to there. However, that in my head, that's, <laughs> that was the first one I was like, that's gonna definitely be my last ball. Um, does that go up to that top corner? That does. Okay, so the finish is gonna be one. Then we'll go two. Actually, we could go there. Okay, no, ignore that. We're gonna go one, two, Three, four, where the cue ball is now roughly, five, and then just roll forwards to there for the black in the middle. There's a couple of ways you could have done that, but I think that is the one I'm gonna go for. So the cue ball pretty much has to just Stop dead on each of these shots. Maybe screw this one by back by about an inch. Okay, yeah, perfectly straight on that. And now it's just making sure that I leave a good angle to land here on the uh, th for the third ball of these three. Okay, and now just want to make sure I don't come too low on this. So there is fine. A little bit higher than I would have liked. But I can just play topspin, come off the cushion and land back here for a straight black to the middle. Get 
little bit off straight, but that should be fine. I got the clearance in the end. It wasn't perfect. Um, that first shot from the corner was just, just sprung off that cushion, went a lot faster than I thought it would, but managed to get the clearance in the end. Thanks so much for tuning in for this video, guys. Uh, I'll be making more of these on my YouTube channel in widescreen, um, so be sure to check them out. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you on the next one.